Hey guys, welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. Today we are in the new tow rig, the little Silverado. I have not named her yet. She'll get a name eventually. Uh, it's a little rally pack. You saw it in the last video. We are out doing some updates. We just got the hitch ball. We have all the balls for the bigger trailers. We don't have a ball that fits this truck for the small trailer. So we went and picked one up and a few more ratchet straps. We are going to be going to Thumper's Performance here in about ooh, two hours to get these windows tinted to match out the backs. Uh, legal as legal can be, just knock down the heat a little bit. And we are currently on our way to Athens Sign uh, per the recommendation of Action Window Tinting uh, to go see if we can't get a sign made for 57 Motorsports on the back window. So stick with me, check it out as we go here. Just kind of vlogging today. Destination is on the left. All right, guys, so we just got done over here at Athens Sign Company. They're going to get me some proof sent over for a sticker for this back window. They'll say 57 Motorsports, Motorcycle Repair and Performance. I just about set off my car alarm. And my phone number, which if any of y'all need to reach me for business needs, my phone number for the business is 605-595-8997. Uh, for now, I think we're pretty much done here. We're going to go see if we can't find a Mr. Car Wash that is not closed and get this thing washed up because it's dirty and get some washer fluid. I can't believe this. The motherfucker was found. No key. We got to figure that out, but it's found. Well, guys, as you know, one of my vehicles was stolen a little over a week ago. She's back. So what we know so far, it died on the side of the road. It's obviously dead. They tied a rope around it up underneath here on the subframe and they took off driving. Tried to rip the exhaust out, I think. Looks like we got a socket under there that I'm gonna try and get off and take to the sheriff for fingerprinting. I bet you money there's some clean prints on that motherfucker. They're trying to steal the catalytic converter. They also Stole my battery. So these are scrappers, they're tweakers. Yeah, they were trying to rip the catalytic converter out of there. And they did not succeed. <laughs> so, hopefully we can make this thing run again. We'll see. All right guys, and the day's vlog continues. We have gotten a hold of a locksmith. Holy Jesus, dude, you don't need to jack the brakes in the middle of the road, he's in the ditch. <laughs> Anyway, we got a hold of a locksmith and we have keys cut for the Escort and they do function. We are on our way home now. We just went to Walmart. I need a pellet for the pellet gun. And we grabbed a Never Start 58-3, which is apparently the battery for that Escort. And we're gonna see. We'll put the battery in, turn the key, see what it does. I'm not expecting it to start, but I am expecting to run a quick diagnosis on this video get that all knocked out and maybe the next video will be fixing it hopefully in a day or two uh, I thought the other car rode rough this thing's rough them 22s on low pro kind of suck uh, we did get a price to fix one rim this thing does have one curved rim uh, I can sand it out and paint it but it ain't gonna look as pretty as doing it the right way so if you've been following this channel for a very long time you would have to be an OG to remember this we used apex powder coating to powder coat Suzy Q's frame they are going to be doing the wheel so I'll have to pull this wheel off throw the spare tire on take the tire off of that sand out the curb rash send it to them they're gonna blast it and powder it back to the factory gloss black powder coat throw it back on and be done uh, the other three look perfect the tires on the other hand aren't the most perfect but they'll get me by uh, it sucks that I just traded in a vehicle with new tires for one with not so new tires but it is what it is at that point uh, yeah let's get to this let's see if she can get her powered up and working well guys we got a battery in it and we turned it over and it did not go zhuga, 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 like junior said uh, it said, Whee! bad sign, very, very bad sign. So here's what we found. We have catastrophic failure of the timing belt. Now here's the good news. Two second Google search. 
All Ford 2.0s have valve reliefs in the piston that are positive reliefed. So even when the valves are at max lift and the piston is at TDC, they cannot collide. That is what is known as a non-interference engine. Interference, when the valve is at max lift and the piston comes up to top dead center, they collide. That would be what Suzy and Dragonfly are. They're interference engines. What's the big deal there? Well, an interference engine breaks a timing belt, it is done. The head is done, usually there's a hole in a piston. If you're lucky, you just ding a piston and you can throw a head on it. Non-interference, like this one, we need a belt and the tensioners and we're good to go. So, a little more Google searching. Called the parts stores, they can't get the belt kit for some reason, but Google led me to eBay. eBay led me to a Chineseum, beater car, Chineseum works. Kit for $79.95, shipped to the door. So, we're gonna go ahead and order a timing set for this, and we will do an entire video on Junior doing his first timing belt. Uh, it's not a hard mission, it's just a mission. <laughs> Uh, we're going to pull the serpentine belt, this motor mount, this wheel over here, and the harmonic. And I think that's all we're going to have to pull to be able to get to... Yeah, that's all we need to be able to pull to get the outer cover off. Once the outer cover's off, we can go ahead and change all the tensioners with the new ones in the kit. Slide the belt on with it in time, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So, for now, we have a diagnosis. We have a vehicle back. We know what it's going to take to get it running. Uh, if I order it now, I might be able to get the timing belt set by this weekend. And we'll probably do it this weekend. In any case, thanks for watching the Ringer 57 YouTube channel, guys.